So I just got a new purple prickly pear cactus pad delivered that I ordered a little bit ago. And so I decided to share it and it doesn't have any roots. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pot it and I'm gonna do a video from beginning to end. So I'm gonna start rooting it and then I'm not gonna end the video until we start to see some growth. Hi, I'm Jeff and I'm Legally Blind. But I'm not gonna let that stop me. Okay, so let me show you what we're working with. So I already opened the box. I was kind of curious. It's been a few days since I got it, and I just decided that I should probably give it a little bit of light because even though it's not potted, it could still start to sprout the roots. This pad has no roots at all. It was cut from like a mother plant, and uh, basically we're gonna propagate it and we're going to put it in some soil, let it grow some roots, and this will actually bear fruit, and it doesn't take too long for that. The pad being what it is, it just has to grow a little bit, Possibly by the end of this summer, uh, it can grow some flowers and it'll turn into fruits. Or maybe next summer, I don't know, we'll find out. But let me show you the pad. I already opened the box, like I said. So that is a purple prickly pear cactus pad. Just opening it, this thing has like these little microscopic spines that just stick in you every way possible. So I got some tongs that I'm gonna use because I uh, can't find my gloves. So we're gonna go ahead and use some tongs and I'm gonna get stuck. There's just no way around it. Got my pot right here, terracotta pot. Got a giant hole in the middle. So I got a rock that's come up, that I'm just gonna stick the rock in the hole to plug it up a little bit so the dirt doesn't go through, but it's still gonna let the water drain out. The soil that I got just happens to be miracle Grow. That's the brand that they had there and I've never had a problem with it. But this is especially for cactus, succulents, what else is this? a citrus and palm? It's a fast draining soil. You don't want the soil that's gonna hold moisture, you want it fast draining. I already used part of this for my uh, saguaro cactuses. Hopefully there's enough potting soil in here though. If not, I'm gonna have to go to the store and get another bag, but I think there should be enough. Look at that, we're gonna have plenty. Yep. Rock is good. Wet the soil a bit so it's easier to work with. All right, now the fun part. I'm gonna get lots and lots of little cactus spines in my fingers. It's actually not that bad. So far, so good. All right, so you can see, yep, I got some spines in my fingers already. So you can see there's the callus on the top. Ow. There's a callus on the top where uh, it was cut from another plant. The callus part, you want to, to put in the soil because especially that part is gonna grow some roots. Wow, yeah, I'm uh, working with a lot of little cactus spines. So wear gloves if you're gonna do this. Highly recommended. Believe it or not, for me, this is actually easier than the tongs anyway, so I'm okay with getting stuck a little bit. I'm gonna wanna put about a third of it in the soil itself. So I got a little groove right here. Everything that I read and all the videos that I've seen have people wearing gloves and or using tongs. Even though I've got the tongs, I'm using my hands. There we go. So I've got it in the pot. Looks good. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more water. I've got probably at least 30 little spines in my fingers right now. All right, should be good to go. So now we just wait for the roots to set and to see some new growth. So let's watch. Got any new roots yet? Okay, that's boring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back uh, when I start to see some new growth. I'll come back with an update as soon as there are some changes. And right now I'm gonna be pulling little cactus spines out of my fingers for like the next week. So I'll be back with an update. Hey, just like that, I've got an update for you. And it's only been about four and a half months. Yeah, the update actually probably would have come like a month earlier, but I kind of delayed the process. Let me show you. Right, let me grab it and set it on the railing or something. There it is, and check it out. There's new growth. That's pretty freaking cool. Now, I'm guessing that's gonna like bloom and turn into another pad. I don't think that's gonna be a fruit yet. I think more pads are gonna come first. Okay, now let me explain what I did to delay the process. So people were giving tips online to like kind of try to pull up a little bit on each side, ouch. And if you feel resistance, then that obviously means that there's roots growing and settling into the soil. Well, when I did that, like a month into it, I pulled up on one side and it was kind of rocking a little bit. So then I pulled up on the other side and there was resistance. And then all of a sudden I heard a 
And I was like, ah, oh, crap, I just broke the roots. And then I had to start all over again, but that was on this side over here that I was pulling up on and heard that noise. And I knew that that was the roots breaking off. So like I said, it would have been like a month sooner if I wouldn't have tried to pull up so hard on that one side. Oops. Also, the pictures that I was seeing from other people doing this, the pictures that they shared with the new growth, all of their new growth was going straight up, like right in the center, going straight up. And as you can see on mine, mine's not center on the top, mine's going off at an angle, and there's a reason for that, I think. So when I put this pad in the pot, I did not point the callus directly down. I kind of did it at an angle. And the reason is because these three inch spines that are going off in that direction. If I would have put the callus directly going down, then those three inch spikes would be going straight out that way. And I kind of wanted them like, you know, up towards the top. So that was just kind of my own little experiment. I wanted to see that if I put the spines where I wanted them, even if the callus wasn't going directly down, I wanted to see if I would get the growth going straight up. And apparently I did not, so failed experiment. I never claimed to be a cactus expert and I never even said that I played one on YouTube either. So I might actually dig this guy up and kind of rotate him a little bit just so I can get that growth going straight up like I've seen in people's pictures online. It's all about doing it and learning from it, right? Just show you the other side real quick before I dig it up and rotate it. It's so cute. All right, done with that. When I was digging it up though, it decided to rain on me. So I had to do it on the front porch where there's like a roof. And I didn't get wet. And I was gonna show you what the roots look like when I when I pulled it out, but it was kind of a, a big pain in the butt. So lesson learned, callus side, straight down. But there we go, I guess the way it should be, got it growing out the top now. And I did just kind of put this guy through a lot, so I'm gonna give him some succulent fertilizer. I'm gonna full pump on that side, full pump on that side, and then give him some water, because I'm sure he would appreciate that. So there you have it. It's raining harder now. So there you have it, my purple prickly pear cactus pad that I received with absolutely no roots. Potted it, rooted it, and now we're getting new growth on it. What's really gonna be exciting is when it finally starts producing fruits. I can't wait to eat some prickly pear cactus fruits. You really never know what you're gonna get on this channel. One day I'm jumping from waterfalls in the Philippines, and then I'm out at the gun range, the next day I'm snowboarding, and then I'm catching walleye in the Great Lakes. Or how about taking my dog kayaking? And now I'm propagating cactus. Whatever it is that I'm doing, I really appreciate you spending your time with me. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. See you on the next one.